guys, it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, um, <clears throat> this is a follow-up episode where I taught you to uh, sketch the fire drake because we're going to do, excuse me, we're going to be doing all fake creatures this month, and we're coming up to the end. I need to come up with a theme for next month. Anyway, you might have noticed if you watched a previous episode that this is a different sketch because it's too hard to explain why I couldn't use the original one, but I made another sketch to use specifically for this episode, so it's the same creature. It kind of counts. Also, don't worry about this blob of paint over here because it's the same color that we're going to use for the background, so... Okay, uh, it's supposed to be bioluminescence, so we're going to do very dark, like, purples and blacks for the background, but we're going to make the... Uh, front kind of bluish so it will stand out. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Right now, we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to get rid of some of those more obvious brush marks by adding a little bit of clean water. I should use a bigger brush for this step. Now, some eyewitnesses have reported uh, orbs of light in conjunction with these creatures. So, uh, we're going to take a little bit of blue paint. You can see these circles I drew here? We're going to draw around them. Alright, now we're going to, while we're going to letting these orbs dry, we're going to draw an outline around him with blue. Okay. <clears throat> now while we're letting that outline draw, dry, <clears throat> We're going to fill out this space a little bit with more blue. Yeah, this is just like the base coat. We don't want to make the whole background blue, otherwise he's going to blend in. But it's a good base coat for like the night sky around him. Okay, now we're going to take this deep purple and go around here, around the glowing area. Yeah, it's kind of like this blackish purple, isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to let this dry just a little bit. In fact, yeah, you don't want that drops like that, otherwise it comes a big mess. That's why you always need cloths or paper towels if you want to do this, just in case. Okay, so we're going to, while this is drying, we're going to kind of like clean up this area around where the light is. See like this? Just smooth, steady strokes with clean water.
Now we're going to take this great big brush and we're going to go like this on those dark areas. Kind of clean it up a little bit with clean water. All right, now we're gonna take some of that same dark blue that we used to paint him. But I might put in a few drops of black and purple, kind of to darken this up, distinguish it a little bit. Now I'm going to take a very fine tipped brush and I'm gonna outline him a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take this really fine tipped brush and I'm going to outline him. I might take some of this purple and kind of do markings on the fins, like what you would see in nature. Now that we got that done, we're going to take some white paint. Very carefully squeeze it onto this fine tipped brush. I'm gonna fill in these little balls of light here so that they stand out. Maybe just add a bit to his eye so that you can see that it's shining. look like it's the night sky. Let's use this fine tip brush to add some stars. Okay, and you have just painted a fire drake. All right, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Uh, for the end of March, I'm going to be doing all fake creatures. However, if you have any suggestions related to this topic or otherwise, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you. I love taking viewer requests. Uh, 
Also, my email address and the link to my Patreon page are in the description. And anybody who finished the lesson on the show and like to show off your artwork, you can send it to me. And as long as you give me your permission, I'll show off on the show with your name so everyone knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and goodbye.